Black Inventors of the 20th and 21st Century, narrated by Diane Austin. African Americans have played a pivotal role in creating inventions that have had a major impact on our everyday lives. From agriculture to medicine, from science to technology, African American men and women have left their mark in American and world history. Let's take a look at some of the black inventors, both past and present, who have left an indelible mark on the world in which we live. In the Stevie Wonder song, Black Man, the Motel Marvel sings of Benjamin Banneker. First clock to be made in America was created by a black man. Though the song is a fitting salute to a great inventor and African Americans in general, it only touches on the genius of Benjamin Banneker and the many hats he wore as a farmer, mathematician, astronomer, author, and land surveyor. But it was his clock invention that really propelled the reputation of Benjamin Banneker. Sometime in the early 1750s, Benjamin borrowed a pocket watch from a wealthy acquaintance, took the watch apart, and studied its components. After returning the watch, he created a fully functioning clock entirely out of carved wooden pieces, all at the young age of 21. The clock was amazingly precise and would keep on ticking for decades. As a result of the attention his self-made clock received, Banneker was able to start up his own watch and clock repair business. Every time a person crunches into a potato chip, he or she is enjoying the delicious taste of one of the world's most famous snacks, a treat that might not exist without the contribution of black inventor George Crumb. Crumb, the son of an African-American father and a Native American mother, was working as a chef in the summer of 1853 when he accidentally invented the chip. It all began when a patron who ordered a plate of French fried potatoes sent them back to Crumb's kitchen because he felt they were too thick and soft. To teach the picky patron a lesson, Crumb sliced a new batch of potatoes as thin as he possibly could and then fried them until they were hard and crunchy. Finally, to top them off, he added a generous heaping of salt. But to Crumb's surprise, the dish ended up being a hit with the patron and a new snack was born. Years later, Crumb opened his own restaurant that had a basket of potato chips on every table. Though Crumb never attempted to patent his invention, the snack was eventually mass-produced and sold in bags, providing thousands of jobs nationwide. Generally, when people think of famous African-American inventors, one of the first names that comes to mind is George Washington Carver. Perhaps most famously, Carver discovered over 300 different uses for peanuts, including making cooking oil, axle grease, and printer's ink. Despite the positive impact George Washington Carver's inventions had on the South, the inventor never sought out glory. Instead, he continued to invent, discover, and teach in order to make the world a better place. Inscribed on his tombstone is the epitaph, he could have added fortune to fame, but caring for neither, he found happiness and honor in being helpful to the world. Many of the world's famous inventors only produced one major invention that garnered recognition and cemented their prominent status. But Garrett Augustus Morgan, one of the country's most successful African-American inventors, actually created two major inventions the gas mask, and the traffic signal. He received a patent for the first gas mask invention in 1914, but it wasn't until two years later that the idea really took off. When a group of workers got stuck in a tunnel below Lake Erie after an explosion, Morgan and a team of men donned the mask to help get them out. After the rescue was a success, requests for the mask began pouring in. Garrett Morgan's other famous invention, the traffic signal was also invented to help save lives. 
After witnessing an accident on a roadway, Morgan decided a device was needed to keep cars, buggies, and pedestrians from colliding. His traffic signal was designed to stand on a street corner and notify vehicles and walkers whether they should stop or go. After receiving a patent in 1923, the rights to the invention were eventually purchased by General Electric. Now there is one invention that he's less famous for. Morgan created the first chemical hair straightening cream, better known today as hair relaxers. Anytime you see a truck on the highway transporting refrigerated or frozen food, you're seeing the work of Frederick McKinley Jones. One of the most prolific black inventors ever, Jones patented more than 60 inventions in his lifetime. While more than 40 of the patents were in the field of refrigeration, Jones is most famous for inventing an automatic refrigeration system for long-haul trucks and railroad cars. In addition to the refrigerator invention, Jones also invented an air conditioning unit for military field hospitals and a refrigerator for military field kitchens. But his inventions don't end there. Jones actually invented a self-starting gas engine. He also invented a series of devices for movie projectors and for box office equipment that gave tickets and made change for movie patrons. Jones was posthumously awarded the National Medal of Technology in 1991, the first black inventor to ever receive such an honor. It's literally impossible to determine how many hundreds of thousands of people would have lost their lives without the contributions of African-American inventor, Dr. Charles Drew. This physician, researcher, and surgeon revolutionized the understanding of blood plasma, leading to the invention of blood banks. There are few inventors who've had the lasting impact of Otis Boykin. Look around your house today and you'll see a variety of devices that utilize components made by Boykin, including computers, radios, and TV sets. Boykin's inventions are all the more impressive when one considers he was an African-American in a time of segregation and the field of electronics was not as well established as it is today. Though he attended the Illinois Institute of Technology for a time, Boykin never made it to graduation because he couldn't afford the tuition. Instead, Boykin went to work as an inventor. He received his first patent in 1959 for a wire resistor that allowed a precise amount of electricity to flow to a component. Because he was able to create a low-cost product that was more reliable, his wire resistor invention brought Boykin to the forefront of American electronics. Consumer electronics manufacturers, the United States military, and IBM all placed orders for the resistor. It would come to be used in household appliances, computers, and guided missiles, and is still used in many of those devices to this very day. But perhaps most importantly, a version of his resistor was used in the invention of the pacemaker. That device, which keeps the heart beating regularly through electronic pulses, has helped to extend the lives of hundreds of thousands of individuals. While home security systems today are more advanced than ever, back in 1966, the idea of a home surveillance device seemed almost unthinkable. That was the year famous African-American inventor Marie Van Britten Brown and her partner, Albert Brown, applied for an invention patent for a closed circuit television security system. A female black inventor that was far ahead of her time, Marie created an invention that was first in a long string of home security inventions that continue to flood the market today. 90% of the microphones used today are based on the ingenuity of James Edward West, an African-American inventor born in 1931 in Prince Edwards County, Virginia. If you've ever talked on the telephone, you've probably used this invention. Dr. West and a colleague, Gerhard Sessler, developed the mic, officially known as the Electroacoustic Transducer Electric Microphone. That's a mouthful. They received a patent for it in 1962. The device is used in most telephones, tape recorders, and other important devices. Another living legend, Kenneth 
J. Dunkley is currently the president of the Hollow Space Laboratories Incorporated in Pennsylvania. He is best known for inventing three-dimensional viewing glasses, also known as 3D. His patented invention displays 3D effects from regular 2D photos without any type of lenses, mirrors, or optical elements. By studying human vision, Dunkley discovered that blocking two points in a person's peripheral vision will cause an ordinary picture to appear three-dimensional. Inventor George Edward Alcorn has an impressive resume. Among his credits, the African-American inventor received a bachelor's in physics, a master's degree in nuclear physics, and a PhD in atomic and molecular physics. Despite such impressive credentials, Alcorn is probably most famous for his innovation of the imaging X-ray spectrometer, a device that helps scientists better understand what materials are composed of when they cannot be broken down. Born and raised in Monroe, Louisiana, the young Betty Harris was interested in chemistry. At college, she obtained a bachelor's degree in chemistry from Southern University and an MS degree in chemistry from Atlanta University. As a research chemist, Betty Harris worked in the areas of hazardous waste treatment and environmental restoration facilities contaminated with energetic materials such as propellants and gun propellants and explosives. She eventually became a noted expert in the chemistry of explosives. Through her research, Harris obtained a patent for her invention for a spot test for identifying explosives in a field environment. Imagine with me for a moment. Imagine living in a world ranging from hazy, clouded vision to that of total darkness for 30 years. Before 1985, that was the plight of those with cataracts who did not want to risk surgery with a mechanical grinder, popular in the day. Now imagine sitting in a doctor's office without being able to see her as she explains to you that it may be possible to restore your vision. Dr. Patricia Bath has dedicated her life to the treatment and prevention of visual impairments. Her personal belief is that everyone has the right to sight, and that led to her invention in 1985 of a specialized tool and procedure for the removal of cataracts called the laser FACO probe. The laser FACO probe has increased the accuracy and results of cataract surgery, which had previously been performed manually with a mechanical grinder. The difference between the old method and the new invention was the difference between the use of highly accurate laser technology versus the somewhat subjective accuracy of a mechanical device. Did you ever think of what it might be like if your television could project an on-screen image directly into your living room as a three-dimensional image? Maybe not, but if it happens, you may have Valerie Thomas to thank for it. From 1964 to 1995, Thomas worked in a variety of capacities for NASA, where she developed real-time computer data systems, conducted large-scale experiments, and managed various operations, projects, and facilities. While managing a project for NASA's image processing systems, Thomas's team spearheaded the development of Landsat, the first satellite to send images from space. Always with an eye to the future, Thomas began experimenting on an illusion transmitter in 1977, and it was patented in 1980. This brilliant innovation placed Thomas among the most prominent black inventors of the 20th century. NASA continues to use her technology and is exploring ways to use it in surgical tools and possibly television and video. Dr. Shirley Jackson, a theoretical physicist, has been credited with making many advances in science. Dr. Jackson attended MIT, where she received a bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degree, all in the field of physics. Jackson started to conduct successful experiments in theoretical physics and then started to use her knowledge in physics to start making advances in telecommunications while working at Bell Laboratories. 
These inventions include developments in the portable fax, touch-tone telephone, solar cell, and the fiber optic cables used to provide clarity in overseas telephone calls. She has also helped make possible caller ID and call waiting. An anonymous source said of the super soaker, I got fired from a job once because of my super soaker. I guess that's what happens when you accidentally drench a customer when you're trying to get a coworker who ducks. Famous black inventor and scientist Lonnie G. Johnson probably didn't have that little scenario in mind when he invented the super soaker squirt gun, but it is one of the countless memories that can be recalled by those who were young enough to enjoy the super soaker after its release in 1989. Johnson's resume boasts work with the U.S. Air Force and NASA, including work on the Galileo, Jupiter Probe, and Mars Observer Project, a nomination for astronaut training, and more than 40 patents, but it's the squirt gun that he's best known for. As a child, Mark Dean excelled in math. In elementary school, he took advanced level math courses, and in high school, Dean even built his own computer, radio, and amplifier. Dean continued his interests and went on to obtain a bachelor's degree, master's degree, and PhD, all in electrical engineering. Dr. Dean started working at IBM in 1980 and was instrumental in the invention of the personal computer and the computer monitor. He holds three of IBM's original nine PC patents and currently holds more than 20 total patents. This famous African-American inventor never thought the work that he was doing would end up being so useful to the world, but he has helped IBM make instrumental changes in areas ranging from the research and application of systems technology to operating environments. One of his most recent computer inventions occurred while leading the team that produced the one gigahertz chip. Even in high school, John Henry Thompson was interested in computer programming languages, and he taught himself several programming languages with the goal of absorbing as much knowledge as possible so he could develop his own computer language. He developed a number of products, many of them based on his most famous invention, Lingo Programming, a scripting language that helps render visuals in computer programs. Lingo is used in the programs Macromedia and Shockwave, and with many programs that have interactive simulations with graphics, animation, sound, and video. You've benefited from Thompson's Lingo programming language if you've ever played video games, learned web design, used animation, and graphics. These incredible inventors represent a small snapshot of the amazing men and women who have impacted our lives through their intelligence and ingenuity. To learn more about these and other Black inventors, get the book Black Inventors by Keith C. Holmes.